Hi, my name is Sebastian from Sean Cool Music. And yes, maybe it is interesting for you. Now I try to combine both worlds, uh, analog synthesizer and a digital synthesizer. And yes, I know the D-12 from Behringer is not really complete 100% analog. It has a digital FX unit and digital stuff, but mainly it is an analog synthesizer and the Hydra synth from ASM is completely digital. So I'm experimenting a little bit with sounds and what you hear in the background is a layer from the DeepMind 12. And of course a drum loop in the background. So it sounds really good. This is my back layer and my front sound. It's from the Hydrosan. And this is a really nice combination. And I want not only talk here, so I want to show you a little bit of the sounds. And but overall, a nice background drum loop, a layer. And now this is why I'm doing this video, <laughs> not because I want to show you only this loop. The hydro synthesizer has these nice little options and motion soundscape power. And for me, maybe it's important to say synthesizers and other stuff are like other instruments. There's a learn curve. You, you need time for it. So this is my point of view and my experience. Don't be frustrated if you have not really good results for the first times. So on that patch today, with all over, I spent some hours to create it. And I'm not doing it directly, so very often it's random. But <laughs> that is the most important part here. If you have created stuff like that, it makes you really, really happy. Yeah, this is such amazing. This is an, an, a great feeling because because this is what I have ever dreamed of when I listen to some other musicians, how they did their stuff. And if you have, uh, 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 maybe other synthesizer can, can uh, have stuff like that, I'm not sure, but if you have maybe a synthesizer like the Hydro synthesizer, you can do that. And it sounds absolutely fantastic. So this is what I'm doing here. I try to create a song and the uh, most important part of songs are sounds. <laughs> I think here we speak the same language. So, okay. Um, I will stop the drum loop here. And what I want to show you is, first of all, if we can go more direct into it, the sound of the Behringer. Keep in mind. So this is very beautiful sounding background layer, so very good to use. And the powerful machine, the Hydra synthesizer, uh, I play with one note both synthesizers. It means um, the, the, the DeepMind patch has a unison three, it means one note plays three voices, you have 12 overall. 
and one node on the hydro synthesizer. So one node means exactly four voices. So this is, sounds like layering. And here on that patch, patch, I have <coughs> one oscillator one, two, and three activated and a ring modulator. And here is also very important the uh, filter, the filter control cutoff and resonance. It gives you this nice punch of sound like distortion. This is only the hydro synthesizer, what you hear in the background. The bearing a deep mind. Oh, let's see. So be confused. And that's what I want to show you here. What you hear now, this sound, Sounds a little bit strange, but the combination of filter, oscillator, modulation matrix, so I have raised the amp level, I go a little bit down. Sounds a little bit different. It's the same patch, the same sounds, absolutely clear. But the main part of the filter, how much level you give to the oscillators, like every other synthesizer. But at the end of the day, the combination between all that stuff and the kind of which kind of sound you let go through the filter, through the parameters. For example, every one oscillator one, two, and three. For example, go. It's it's uh, the value uh, one hundred means you get go with all sounds through the filter. But I have changed the key track for every filter. It means that you have not the filter reacts not over all over the complete keyboard over all notes over all octaves the same way. You have different parts. And this is how you can control uh, if you if you work on patches how when when the filter gets open so you can stop the high frequencies and push a little bit the lower frequencies and all over you can get very interesting results. And this is now the re, re, not the end result, but this is now my my um, in between step. <laughs> Drum loop, background layer, hydro synthesizer, and the modulation of the hydro synthesizer. The emotion gives this emotion sound wave feeling. This is what I love and like about the hydro synthesizer. It's controlled here now. Oscillator one is controlled by the LFO5 so that you have the modulation matrix and this kind of modulating flow that you have not exact the same notes, the same sound all the time. And the kind of filter I have used now, my parameters give that feeling and sound possibilities.
So this is <clears throat> one thing I also want to try is it's better to control the synthesizer when you have created your patches and you know which kinds of parameters you want to use to, with your DAW because if I want to play it live and to change uh, some stuff um, it doesn't really function good for me. Now this is an example I would show maybe more about that, but then I have to be sure which kind of parameters and changes I have to do. So I didn't told you now that here I have my macro assigns and also some parameters, but you cannot remember all that stuff. So it's really try and error when you're sure this is one I want to change. You can automate that on your DAW. Also I have the Beringer Motor 61 and I changed some parameters because it's much better if you have the control over more functions in one time so that I don't have to uh, change here manually, manual some values so it's better to have more controllers and knobs to change instant uh, more parameters. I did a video about that. So, but at the end of the day I'm working on the hydro synthesizer and I'm changing stuff and looking and hearing and this is very very important. This is my experience. You need very very m not very much time, you need time and you can use very much time to get the perfect result but you will find out sometimes if you change stuff it gets complete different results and they sound much better than you saw before. So give it a try. Uh, also like every other synthesizer, but here now on my desk, uh, these are my possibilities. I'm not really deep into the DeepMind 12. I know some stuff about it, but I think I know for now a little bit more about the Hydro Center than about the DeepMind 12. And now I will to find out to get more into touch with the DeepMind 12 and to check out more combinations. So this is one way now I had, I did. And yes, I hope it gives you a little bit uh, some information about the possibilities. And yes, of course, um, I think uh, the control function over um, software is not the best um, scenario for now for the Hydra synthesizer. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm sure you will get also nice results. You have fun to play with. So for now, I think it's a little bit more clear. I thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And I hope I see you soon. For now I say bye bye.